Are you struggling to make profits, trading cryptocurrencies, and tired of wasting money on trading classes that don't deliver results? We've got a solution for you. Our trading AI has been developed by a seasoned trader from Switzerland and has been tested over years to help you make successful trades. All you need to do is sign up with Bybit using the link below and you will receive free money on your first deposit as well as reduced trading fees. Once you are set up, you can effortlessly copy the trading bots with just one click. Our AI currently has a 100% win rate and generates over 15% ROI per month. And we're confident you'll see the results for yourself. Don't believe us? Try it out for free by following the links in the description and see for yourself. Sign up now and take your trading game to the next level. If Shiba Inu reaches a penny, I'll purchase 20 acres of property and my dream home will be built there. I therefore found this article to be interesting because who wouldn't want to design their ideal home? And many of us have had Shabbos for a very long time. Some people say till a penny drops and your comments are underneath. You're holding a Shiba Inu. Why? What would you do with the money if you owned a Shiba Inu for a penny and it increased to a penny depending on how much you owned? What would you do with the money? Which would you purchase? Please leave a comment below. But this is where Jasmine Phillips has already invested in some drawings for a 4,000 square foot dream home because she is so certain that she will one day achieve it. When she hits the one penny milestone, she plans to purchase 20 acres of property. Since Tennessee has plenty of land, purchasing 20 acres at once shouldn't be a problem. 27-year-old claimed that after making a dime, the first thing she would do is sell half of her possessions. She states that she has 106 million tokens, for which she paid around $4,000 on October 20th, 2021, after its all-time high of 8 was reached that month. She decided to get a Shiba new. She is currently in a loss and has decreased by around 87% from its peak. Even so, it doesn't stop her from wanting to buy land while building her dream home. Phillips disclosed that she was stockpiling Shiba in new dips and would keep doing so because the symbol is a dormant behemoth. As a result, some people are now reminded that everything is relative. So if you're cynical, you can think, oh, she lost everything because she bought when it was high, and now it's low. Why? What? Why? That might be one perspective. Everything is relative, though. Thus you travel when the ship's value increases in the future. Wow. Crap. How did they do that? She's so fortunate that same person would exclaim, she's quite fortunate to have held for that long. Guys, it's not luck. Actually, actually it isn't. You know, holding requires a lot of work. It's not something you can just do. So, when you hear those tales about how someone bought everything and then made all this money, they endured downturns and suffered as a result. And it's likely that they lost it and became angry over it. They sat through it even though they didn't enjoy it in order to earn the money. Of course, being an investor requires placing your money into dangerous endeavors, absorbing the associated risk, managing the associated risk, and having the patience to see it through. It's not simple. Everyone would attempt it and succeed if it were simple, but it's incredibly difficult. Additionally, there are many investments you can make in projects that fail, and you never know what will become something significant or nothing at all. And now, obviously a big fan of Shiba and you. I mean, I have really high standards for Shiba Inu. I'm really biased. Then I have many Shiba Inu. Of course I have a bias though. Because you know, when I look at the available statistics, it's clear that she had a good understanding of what was most likely to continue being a highly effective strategy. That's what I myself think. But you already know what I also do as an investor because I've been investing for so long. I've realized that diversification is one of the smartest things you can do. You should not put all of your eggs in one basket since you never know what can happen. For instance, if anything were to succeed, you never know for sure what will happen. It might succeed right away or later. Hence, risking everything is not worthwhile when you are unsure of what may occur. To summarize what I'm saying, diversification is essential. You should be sure to diversify your investments when you make them, as you well know. But guess what? You should also conduct your research because it's essential to you. You shouldn't just buy something because you read an article about it because many publications, particularly those involving cryptocurrency, talk about garbage because they want to make money. They just say random things. Additionally, they occasionally accept sponsorships, in which case a coin will pay them to promote it. I detest that so much. I don't think it exists. Believe it or not, I've received numerous offers of cash to discuss various coins, and yet I never do it. I steer clear of it. I don't hold it to be true. 
as many of them are working quite hard to make their tokens successful. You know, I wish them the best, and I wish them the best. You know, I don't want their business or token to suffer any harm. But no, I don't do it because I support the right to free expression. You just cannot put a value on my opinion. It simply isn't worth it. And what about that? Sometimes it's necessary to be critical. But if something pays you, you can't be critical of it. And that is very significant. It's okay to have an opinion about things. You are not a bad person because of it as long as you use it for good. In any case, I digress. To sum up, I'll just say that I think it's awesome that this person believes in Shiba and you and wants to build a house for them. To construct your own fantasy home, in my opinion, is great, amazing, and cool respectively. And they intend to construct this house. They even appear to have complete drawings and everything. 4,000 flows a large amount. If I close my eyes, I can actually picture this house already finished its color. How it seems when lit up at night. The kitchen being painted, the types of flowers being planted outside, and even the ground when the trees begin to lose their leaves. Do you now see how this person is incredibly innovative and capable of giving their ideas serious thought? That's significant. I'll explain why. Thinking about what you're going to do if a penny drops will help you hold on. For me at least, please comment below with your response. What are you going to do if a penny drops? If doing that keeps you strong during good times and bad, it is a wonderful thing. That's fantastic. Really, Shiba and you is being held by every one of us. There are many of us who really believe in it. I firmly believe in cryptography in general and that she might be anyone you know. I believe that everyone ought to have some Bitcoin. Everyone has to have some Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum are mine. Each one of them is familiar to you. Diversification is crucial, though. It is highly significant. Do your research, gentlemen. I'll say it again. So many buyers of cryptocurrency are ignorant of what they are doing. Also, I hear tales of individuals purchasing tokens that I am not even familiar with. And since they are obviously terrible tokens, they fall apart and leave investors with a negative impression of the entire cryptocurrency industry. No, not although there are some duds. Not everything is a dud, so avoid investing in them. You should be patient. Conduct your study and be conscious of what you're investing in. I strongly encourage you guys to join the Patreon club because generally speaking, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. If you're interested in joining our private community and want to see alerts, head over there. I send out microcap tokens and other awesome items as well as alerts. The link to join and become a member is in the description of my Patreon group. Nonetheless, I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. You won't be able to stop me because I won't quit. No way if that means storing cryptocurrencies for the long run. Jose, you know, holding cryptocurrencies for the long term is sometimes one of the best things you could do. As I've already discussed before purchasing Bitcoin a very long time ago, I regret selling Bitcoin way too early because I bought it many, many, many years ago when it was only a tiny fraction of what it is now. And the good news is that you have to see the bright side because if you wallow in your own unhappiness, you know you'll never accomplish anything. Consider the positive. I've learned my lesson. To put it simply, I now know to hold on to anything I purchase for a long time. If I genuinely believe in a project, I cling to it for a very long time. Ignore making money quickly. Nobody needs to make a quick buck. I like to hold on to things for the long haul. Hence, swing trading is undoubtedly a completely distinct activity. Yes, swing trading all coins is fantastic, but I also usually buy some buyback and keep the long-term wallet that I don't touch. Well, I really do adore you people. I appreciate your interest and hope to see you in the next video.